In this course, we will see how technology has helped in the teaching of reading. Reading is a complex process that has to be taught in class and practiced every day. Our expert, Professor Tammy Slater, will help us to understand how reading develops. With this knowledge, teachers can help their students learn to read. My name is Tammy Slater and I'm an Associate Professor in Applied Linguistics and Teaching English as a Second or Foreign Language. I'm originally from Western Canada and I spent several years teaching English in Japan, but I moved to the American Midwest about seven years ago to teach at and do research for this university. I teach a variety of courses here, including Introduction to Linguistics, but my main interest is in literacy methods and theories. I regularly teach a graduate course in this topic for ESL teachers, and I developed and taught a course for undergraduate students who are learning to be ESL teachers. Professor Slater explains that students need to have interesting things to read. Motivation is the key. The internet provides reading on every topic in the world and lots of topics are in English. The internet is full of reading opportunities for students. We'll take a look at the American English website that has a section called resources, where students can find lots of texts that should be interesting for them to read. We will also call on one of our experts, Professor Shannon Sorrow, to tell us about fan fiction. Shannon is an associate professor at Malmo University in Sweden. She researches fandom, fan practices, and computer-assisted language learning. And she is actually a fan, so she is the best person to help us understand how powerful fandoms are for motivating readers. Students read a text, and then they discuss the text online with other students who are interested in the same text. Hi, I'm Shannon Saro, and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Culture, Languages, and Media at Malmö University here in Sweden. And I train uh, future teachers who are specializing in teaching English to elementary, middle, and high school students in Sweden. Um, and my research is therefore connected to classroom language teaching. In particular, I look at the digital and creative linguistic practices of language learners in online communities in fan spaces and on social media, for example, like fan fiction. And I look at how these can be used or transformed into teaching activities to help our students develop their digital literacy and English language skills. Um, so far, I've used um, an investigated collaborative online fan fiction based on The Hobbit and um, the Sherlock Holmes mysteries uh, to help with advanced language learning and literary learning. And I also do work in telecollaboration or online intercultural exchange to link classes in different countries um, for the purpose of language and intercultural learning. Writing is another key area for English language teachers. We will see how technology has transformed the process of writing and created new opportunities for language learners. Writing is an important skill in the world today, in part because people communicate using written language for email and text messages. Our expert, Professor Elena Kotos, will help us to understand how technology can also help novice writers. My name is Elena Kotos. I'm an assistant professor in the Applied Linguistics and Technology program in the English department at Iowa State University. I'm also the director of the Center for Communication Excellence of the Graduate College at Iowa State. Um, much of my teaching experience has been related to academic writing. In the past few years, for example, I have been teaching a graduate studies course that prepares graduate students from different disciplines to write publishable thesis chapters. I have also taught an advanced workshop in academic writing, um, as well as ESL courses in oral and written communication and first year composition for undergraduate students. 
um, from the courses offered to students in, who major in linguistics, um, I've taught linguistic analysis both to graduate and undergraduate students and special topics, um, for example, genre analysis and learning technologies. Um, before coming to Iowa State, I taught in an AFL setting and, uh, of course, I taught language classes focused on particular language skills like grammar, speaking, listening comprehension, and I also taught courses in lexicology, stylistics, oral, and written translation. We will also take a look at some of the many tools that are available for students as they write. This one is one example called Grammarly which is a tool that makes corrections for students on their writing. You can see in the example how Grammarly has identified spelling errors as well as grammar errors in the student's writing. 